Hi everyone, it's Taylor. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm 17. I'm 18. And we're Teen Moms and today we're going to be doing an agree or disagree because that's the new trend. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so formula or breastfeeding? Do you agree with formula? We'll start with that one. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you can go okay. first. <laughs> Personally, I disagree with formula feeding your child just because it is so you get you get a bond with your child if you're breastfeeding that yeah, you won't true. get if you're formula feeding. And yeah. not just that, but your breast milk gives them so much nutrients and the vitamins that they need. And I just I don't know, I just disagree with it because it like depends on the situation for me because like I understand some people can't, but like if you can and like you're choosing not to then that's just like yeah that's you shouldn't be doing that because like it is it's so good like such good bonding like we both breastfeed and i don't know i just love breastfeeding i can't imagine like not breastfeeding, not I, know. breastfeeding. I want to breastfeed her for the rest of her life like and that's personally, how i think that is easier because it is you, you have to get up in the middle of the night with your child to feed them you can just grab them and yeah, exactly. Instead of having to get up and get the right temperature for your water and yeah, mix up the formula and like exactly, we were talking about it earlier. And we wouldn't want to drink powdered milk. No, so I wouldn't. Wait, I really if you wouldn't. don't want to, yeah. then why would you give that to your child? Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. Um, and then breastfeeding, obviously, we like agree with that. Like yeah. that is like, I feel like if you can breastfeed, you should be breastfeeding. Yeah, it doesn't matter Definitely. what you want to do with your life. Like. There's you're supposed moms. to be selfless yeah. when you're Those a mom. Moms are like, oh, I don't want my boobs to get saggy and all that stuff. Like, yeah, that's retarded. Yeah, like <laughs> personally, we're here right now and our boobs are not saggy, so you cannot just like <laughs> you cannot <laughs> say that that is a reason. I know, and also <laughs> my boobs grew aside. Yeah, so and if anything, it's a perk. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, um, commenting on how people raise their kids. Personally, I think that that's okay yeah. because if someone is not doing or I mean, it's not okay to like be like, oh, you do this, but I do this with my baby. So that's not okay. But yeah. like if they're not raising their kid or loving their kid, I feel like it's not okay. Yeah, I think that if you are neglecting your child, then that is really horrible. Yeah, not just physically, like, emotionally, yeah. like, leaving to go do other things, like, or taking your baby at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning to go to the beach to, like, do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're both like, hmm. <laughs> okay, um, what age can your child date? I think personally, we're gonna have very different. I know because you I have, have a boy and she has a girl. daughter, so I um, think that I would probably let my son dating or date in like high school because yeah, I don't want like I mean even freshman year I'm probably gonna be like oh you know just like be careful because we we are teen parents and I don't I don't want that for my child. Well, yeah, I want her to tell me like as soon as she thinks that like she's ready for sex even if I don't agree yeah. with it like I need to be the responsible parent and be like okay well I'm getting you on birth control yeah and Take here for that. because like obviously if they're like 12 then no no but yeah. like <laughs> if like she's 15 and she's in high school and like I want to meet her boyfriend oh, so yeah. like even if she does get a boyfriend at like 13 I want to meet him so I can be like involved in it so then she's not hiding it from me and doing like I want to be open my with back. my child. Yeah. yeah. I want like, her to be, or her, or him be able to come to yeah. me and me be there for them so they don't go off and do it by themselves and yeah. have, have no knowledge about it. Yeah. And then also I just want them, I want to be able to like be involved in the relationships and stuff so that yeah. I know everything that's going on and like, yeah. obviously she's going to have a boyfriend whenever the hell she wants. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, <laughs> I mean, I started dating at like 12, yeah, I want to say. Too. And I, so my parents didn't agree with it either. And I wasn't sexually active. No. I was just dating and like, they didn't agree with it and it made me hide it behind their back. Yeah. And like, I don't want that. I don't want to have to deal with that because my parents personally were like very strict, which I think oh, yeah, same. made me want to be who I was, you know? And yeah. that's why I want to be open with my son and her daughter. So they have people to go to yeah. and yeah, I mean, like, if my son comes home with different girls every week, I will personally call them by the wrong name. And be like, oh, that must have been last week's girl. Just so, so, just so he cannot be a douchebag. Like, I'm not going to let oh my son my be that God. way. 
I'm crying. <laughs> Literally, though, like, I mean, if it, like, starts getting out of control and she starts being, like, someone that's going around and having boyfriends every week, like, yeah. then I'll be like, okay, we need to reel that back in. <laughs> like, there's a difference when they're little, though. Like, yeah. Oh, you have a new boyfriend? Okay, <laughs> like, that's cute. But, yeah. Like, if but, you're like in, in high, high school, school, yeah. That's not And cute. I want her to be, like, and I don't want, I don't really want them, like, sexually active in my house. No way. Like, and I if would you have probably, your girlfriend or boyfriend over, like, to like doors extent, open. Yeah, I'll be a strict parent. Like, you can go and have fun or whatever, but you I think always that, have to be home. I think like, that I'll let them be in her room because, like, obviously you want to cuddle. And, like, yeah. when I was, like, a freshman and a sophomore, I did not like cuddling on the couch in front of their parents. Right? It was like, so awkward. And yeah, was, even like, in front of my parents, like, in front of their parents, too, I was just like, this is so weird. I don't even want to touch you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, right? Like, so, like, I'll be like, okay, you guys, and then I'll just check on them, like, be like, hey, you guys want a snack? Like, not yeah. be like, not be like doing, but like, off your parent. That's what yeah, be. but like being like, oh, do you guys want a snack? Or like, oh, it's dinner time, or, you know, like, that door open for sure. Like my previous boyfriend. And not under like comforters. Oh, like yeah. you guys see me underneath like this thin little blanket that I can see everything see that's everything going on if I walk on. in. But like Yeah, I don't know. I just yeah, I don't want to be a strict parent and I just I you can date if you want to, but there's boundaries. Yeah. There's always gonna be boundaries. Yeah. And like Devin was like, I don't wanna be like, Oh, you can't date because then she's gonna hide it gonna from want us. to and, and then yeah so he was like something. yeah he was like i just want to like be able to know her boyfriends and stuff and i was like that's like that's how it should be and i also want their like significant other at the time to be comfortable around yeah and, and be, be able like, to scared, like, like yeah because like devin and his family like didn't or his sister didn't start dating till they were like he didn't have his first girlfriend till, till junior year yeah so he was way different than I was. Yeah. Like, he didn't have his first girlfriend until junior year. So, like, his parents were like, oh, yeah, go ahead, do whatever you want. And the, Finally, you have and a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, though, so, like, he's, like, oh, thinks about it a lot differently than I do. Yeah, I definitely agree. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Stay-at-home moms or daycare kids. So, like working or stay-at-home moms i think that stay-at-home moms do work yeah honestly <laughs> we're both stay-at-home moms i mean we actually like work sometimes too but yeah. like we're mostly stay-at-home moms and i think that it's amazing and beautiful and it builds the bond even better definitely like i feel like i mean it depends on your situation obviously like if you're a single mom then oh yeah go, like i do whatever you, you have to, to do do what you have to do for your child yeah but and I'm not going to say that you going to work makes you a, a better or worse mom than we are, but, like... But, like, we have our boyfriends, yeah. and they both have full-time jobs. And yeah. so, like... And then we also work when we need to. Yeah. Like, we... She babysits yeah. occasionally, and so do I. I had a job whenever my son was first born, and then... Yeah, and you are working, like, all the time. Yeah, and... That honestly was very sad for me, and so I guess I'm just different than some people because they can their getaways their work sometimes, and I'm like that's just not me. Yeah, I don't know. I just I would not be able to work a full time job and have my baby no. at daycare, and I don't want other people that I don't know watching my kid. Yeah, I actually I'm like scared of daycare. Yeah, <laughs> like, I actually I don't think that I'll ever put my kid in daycare. Like yeah, I know. Like when we start going to college and stuff, like I'm gonna be like grandma. Can you please watch? Yeah, my child? seriously. I'm not gonna have no rando watching my yeah, child. Yeah, because like, I don't trust them. Like, it's seriously. not their kid. It's not their blood. So they're gonna be like, treat them differently. And it's like that's not fair for the yeah. baby. No, definitely. Oh, I was gonna say that I actually was let go of my job because I would have to stop or I would have to call out of work because somebody cannot watch my child either. So. Worrying yeah, about you prioritize. Yeah, your I, child obviously is I'm always... not gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna leave my kid at home while I go to work with nobody to watch him. Like, sorry, I'm always gonna do what's best for my child first. Yeah, and that was kind of bull. Yeah, they it that. was. So I'm just literally. Like, <laughs> okay, raising your own child or having someone else do it for you. Do I agree or disagree? I. 100 and freaking a million <laughs> percent <laughs> disagree. <laughs> like. <laughs> I mean, see, I know a single mom that actually is raising her kid by herself. Yeah. 
And she's been doing it since she was pregnant because yeah. he left when she got pregnant. And she, he was like, if you don't get an abortion, then I'm leaving you. And it's like, I can't even believe it. And then the people that just leave or like their kids get taken away at this age. It's like, what else are you going to do with your life? Like, yeah. like people that aren't going to school and like are partying and stuff instead of taking their kid, I feel like it's such bull. Like, why aren't you taking care of your kid? And how do you, like, think in your head, like, you're taking that shot or you're, like, smoking that blunt. And, and your kid's you're, at home Yeah, and you're, else. like, yeah. And There's not a just, like. Though, like, me and Taylor have hung out and gotten babysitters for our children to go to Wild Waves like we did the other day. Yeah, but, like, but, we weren't gone. Or, I mean, I guess we were gone all day. But, like, we made sure that we were home by yeah. a certain time. And we made sure our kid was, like. They're not permanently staying there. Yeah, and, like, we weren't out drinking or smoking or, like, yeah. getting super high or anything. Like, we Or just, partying. Yeah, like, we Or, like, making stupid decisions. Yeah. Look, we making literally ass out of ourselves. We literally water park. We didn't do anything crazy like some yeah. people that we know are doing. And D we disagree with. So, and I And just, it's, like, it's not even hating on them. Yeah. And, like, a lot of people's excuses are, oh, my postpartum, postpartum, postpartum. But there are people that have postpartum that are still taking care of their kids. I'm I still just like depression real bad for the first month of my child's life and there's not a moment because we weren't close yeah <laughs> but there's not a moment that I thought I don't want to take care of my kid yeah like, same like when I was sad like I wouldn't really call it like depression but like I was really sad because I was yeah. like my life just took a freaking 380 we were twist. partying freaking a year ago yeah I know and like hanging things. out with everyone yeah. and invited to everything and now it's like everyone's since we got pregnant, I'm pretty sure, I can't say for her, but definitely for me, I lost at least 98% of my friends. Yeah. So. Definitely. And they all congratulated me on, like, my pregnancy, oh, your but then. Oh, so beautiful, or your son's so beautiful. And yeah, but then never again. again. So yeah, I'm exactly. Like, and so it's like, okay, but, yeah, I just, like, if we were able to change our lives, how different they were. Like, to take care of our kids and to be the best mommies that we can. Yeah. Then I don't understand how people that didn't have hard lives or, you know, weren't doing anything drastically different. Yeah. Cannot take care of their kids. I just don't, I disagree with the whole somebody else taking care of a child because yeah. this person that I know is younger than us and she, I just don't understand you can go through labor. And, and the dad was pregnancy. even in the life too is what the problem is. Is yeah. that like, I don't know. I just like, me and Devin were so excited when we got pregnant. Yeah. Like we were like, <laughs> and it's not even cause like, oh, I wanted to be a teen mom. Like that's not even it. It was just like, this is so amazing and crazy. This that Like we're purpose, building. Yeah. Like, and like we're building someone and like growing someone and forming someone. And I don't know. I just like, I just don't understand. You can go through labor and pregnancy and like all that hard stuff because labor is, hard yeah after I had my baby literally we were all crying she was in the yeah. delivery room and everyone was crying like, like it was so beautiful and then I just don't understand how you can go through that and then just be like yeah somebody else take care of my kid yeah that's crazy um for the last question age for phone oh. what age do you think you'll get for your baby or your kid a phone <laughs> my baby just a phone right now so no, I'm kidding I feel like it depends on the situation. Like, my... I had, like, a stupid little flip phone yeah, when same. I was, like, five, because... I had a flip phone until I was in seventh grade. I think I got a smartphone when I was, like, sixth grade. But, like, yeah. I had a flip phone because, like, my parents are divorced, and I my mom lives in Tennessee, so I'd travel back and forth, and my mom did not want me going anywhere without... Yeah, that like, makes sense. So, like, that's okay, but, like, if your parents are still together, then I think that... You should get a phone in, like, 6th or 7th grade. Yeah. Because of all the horrible things that are happening nowadays. Oh, yeah. Society. And, like, the cyberbullying. Yeah. And, like, this... just, I don't know. And people are, like, or kids are a lot more sexual, I guess. Yeah. And, like, I don't really want my daughter to be, like, caught up in that. I don't no. want her well, doing that. Well, me saying that I want my child to have a phone in, like, 6th or 7th grade isn't, like, I want them to go do that. It's, like... Yeah, he's no. gonna have restrictions for sure. Like yeah. he's not gonna have social media. He's gonna have a phone to text yeah. me or his dad, or or like I'm okay with like them texting their friends because yeah. we can actually like 
on messages, we can go and look at the messages. Yeah. And, like, we can even, if they, like, are deleting them because they think they're smart, we can go into, like, <laughs> Verizon or whatever and, like, look at messages. Yeah. But, like, I don't think social media is different than a phone. Yeah. I don't think I want him to have social media until he's, mm-hmm. like, maybe eighth grade. I think that maybe that they could have, like, or tens at least could have, like, a Facebook because I'm oh, on yeah. Facebook. And, I mean. Snapchat's n- not no. to, like. Eighth grader, yeah, school, until like, high school. Because <laughs> I know, and I know I that the was. world's gonna be different. Yeah, I know the yeah. world's gonna be different and stuff. And like, it might be like, but like now I'm seeing like seventh graders and sixth graders adding me on Snapchat, and I'm like, how? Where first of all, mother? how did you get my Snapchat? <laughs> and then they'll do like those little primos or pre whatever they're called. I don't even know. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where they, like, are, like, add this person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, these little seventh graders are literally, like, sh- taking pictures in the mirror of their, like, butt. Like, not, like, in a thong or, like, in yeah. underwear. They'll, like, take it in their jeans. And I'm, like, yeah, and they're, like, you look like my six-year-old sister. Like, what the <laughs> stop? And I'm just, like, oh, my gosh, no. Like, my sister, like, has a phone. And she has a seven, an iPhone seven. And, like, I was like, Mom, this is not okay. And, like, then she got her little boyfriend, and then there was issues because it's, like, yeah. they shouldn't be having Snapchat, Instagram. My mom's no. like, it's fine, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, you did not let me have any of that in seventh grade. Yeah. Like, like I had to hide mine. Yeah, me too. And, like, uninstall it when I got my phone taken Seriously, away. Seriously, like, dude. <laughs> like, so nobody that they could know, be- and I could only add, like, a certain amount of people so that nobody would know. Yeah, exactly. And, like, you have, like... You're like, no, don't tell no one. Like, But Corbin or Tinsley, if you're watching this later on in life, don't think you're sneaky. Because <laughs> we, were because there we were there and we, and we did, did that. that and yeah. we would like, tell. our parents, like, they didn't go through that. They didn't have the social media yeah. and stuff. And so it's like... We're on to we you did. already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, We're going to be doing a different yeah, video on my channel. Go to her channel and I'll link it in the description box below. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Yes, bye. (laughs)